Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we have been on the LV 426 for uh, about 1034 days now. We've got ourselves 12 duplicates spread across uh, three asteroids now, and we've been making our way into the future as comfortably as I can manage. Turns out that's kind of discomforting. We're over on Cherubi here. We have got ourselves a nice little power and water system, but we are flooded with carbon dioxide, so we've had to slow this down so that these carbon skimmers can catch up but because of that we've run out of power remember it's a power and water system so over here I am building myself a whole bunch of new solar panels of course for that to happen we need to get ourselves some glass on the way and over here at our original asteroid Yakil we have ourselves a glass making facility down below the problem that is slowly starting to creep up on us here is we are cooling down with this thermoregulator in the corner here and because our cool slush geyser has been dormant for some time, though it has come back to life, so this problem is disappearing. This has overheated. The uh, thermo sensor was like, no, 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 no. You need to calm you, yourself down a little bit. But we still need more glass, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna carry on pumping glass. As you can see, we have got. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna call it a functionally infinite amount of uh, sand here. Uh, over on the other asteroid, Tyranu, we have been sending across as much polluted dirt as we can, so that we can get our poke shells being made and ground down for some steel over on your kill again but what are we gonna actually be aiming for today it's been a little bit of a break I apologize for that guys and looking around trying to figure out what we're gonna do I think we need to explore I, I just think we need to do so if I come back to the map you can see that we have got three people idle and they are idle on our main asteroid here of your kill so I feel like we need to make this place the place where we start exploring from because, you know, we've got the people for it. Got the people. You know what else I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and put some glass, uh, some solar panels down across the top here. Because um, down below, our steam manufactory, it's been a little bit awkward because the power has been going on and off. And it turns out there is a little bit of a bug for the tepidizer. If that carries on like that, it will overheat. It will go way above the 83 that you are hoping for. 85, sorry, that you are hoping for. Up until it starts overheating itself and then cannot run anymore. So we need to get in and fix this. I think what I'm actually going to do is turn this little loop here into a, a nice little cooling system. If I can find the heat. You can see that we've got a little bit of heat spillage from here. It's quite significant, if I'm to be honest. It got up to, uh, to about 90 degrees or so. So, so let's uh, let's start by doing a little bit of plumbing here. Well, this is kind of fun little loop I've got myself in. I want to send some aluminium over to your kill to be able to make the uh, ra ra radiant pipes that we've got there. Had a little bit of trouble saying that for some reason. The radiant pipes. So, of course, we need to bring this over to get ourselves some of these uh, interplanetary launchers. The bullets are firing over to our other um, asteroids. The problem is we need some glass so we can make some power. To make some power, we need to come over here and cool down this area. Ah, it's a bit of a loop. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. No problems. Oh, you might be wondering what I'm going to use as a coolant for cooling down these batteries. Well, we've got a whole host of crude oil over here sat at about 20 degrees. That that sounds beautiful for this particular job. We are, of course, building up enough steam here so that we can um, replace this rocket with a steam engine and just have a bit of a look around. I don't even... Yeah, we're, we're kind of in the middle here. I don't even want to go land anywhere. I just want to fly around with a duplicate that has access to a telescope and open up some of these areas. I, th I think we can go and just explore out maybe even make a little steam box on some of these other places to get a refuel and come back for it yeah that, that might be a thing that might be a thing Okay, so we've managed to get the cooling loop on the go. In fact, we are cooling down these smart batteries quite nicely. We could do with chill chilling these tiles up here down a little bit more. Maybe I will come back and add some more radiant pipes up and through that network. We're also able to expand this out going down as and when we need more batteries. And I might actually try and put some batteries on the main spline as these are solely for the interplanetary launcher here. But whilst we're here, we've got a little bit of a power inconsistency, particularly uh, in, in the morning and the evening when the sun rises and sets and the solar power swaps over uh, and that is causing the liquid tepidizers to get hotter and hotter and hotter and it's going to cause us some problems and I can't just remove it using the snip tool because everything's all wired together so we're going to have to try and make our way into there. This is a little bit treacherous. We've got uh, 110 degree materials there and we've got uh, minus 50 degree materials here though this is uh, changing as we're looking at it by the looks. Interesting, interesting. Okay, well, I mean, I suppose there's no time like the present. Let's go for it. Soon as, soon as someone comes along to do it. 
perhaps this means this should be an insulated pipe. Whilst we're here, let's let's put some extra orders down for our people. Why not? Why not? I'm sure Bishop will have a great time dealing with that. Bishop is the guy who normally deals with most of these things. Let's have a look and see who's got the errand on the go right now. Oh, it's Ash today. Okay, brilliant. Welcome. I would also like to say, I think the follow cam has got just a little bit more jank. Watch as, yeah, this. That That's really bad. It's, it's uh, fluttering about, stuttering, getting some real serious problems. Bishop was the person coming along to do the pipes, though. That That's that's cool. I like the fact that I, I kind of called that, even though I didn't think I had. All right, great. Anyway, we've got this uh, insulated tunnel bit of tile being removed here. Bishop's going to go ahead and destroy the liquid tepidizer. Great. It was a failed experiment, but we can use this cooling liquid for other uh, other matters now uh, the fact that the carbon dioxide is turning into gas going up touching like this igneous rock that is just far 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 too cold and condensing back into a liquid we must be having like some actual vacuum around somewhere uh, unfortunately not but you know that's, that's a possible there it was that, that, that I knew it would happen I knew it would happen Okay, with the steam box back up to 200 degrees, I suppose it's time to start thinking about what we're going to be putting on this rocket. I'm going to obviously have a steam engine. It's what we seem to be set up for. But what else are we going to add on top of that? We are literally just going for an explore. So I'm wondering whether we want to have things like power or just to throw a space farad module on there and call it a day. I was just checking up on Sharubi, trying to find out what was going on with all this heat over here. And I was just following this pipe back, being like, excuse me, what? 68 degree polluted water? We are not pumping that degree of water through. If we come over here, you can see... Oh, this is 50. It was it was 30s down here when I was last looking. Here we go, 37, even 20s and such. Um, this water has got warm because it's fed back through. Uh, do you remember we were trying to kill some germs? We killed germs. We, we did the germ killing. We now need to uh, deconstruct this at the highest order. We need to try and possibly think about how we're going to uh, cool this down. Are we going to cool this down? Yeah, I think we should. I mean, it is just going to dissipate amongst the bait. We're probably going to need a cooling solution for over here at some point. We do have this one on the go at the moment. It cools down this area and the hot box over here. So I suppose this will be drawing the heat out of the water as it comes through, maybe, if we're lucky. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing much. I suppose we are in carbon dioxide, it's not, it doesn't pass across very well. Anyway, over on your kill, I have been building a, a, a rocket. I want, I want to go, I want to see the, the universe. I've got myself a little bit of a design here, it's really hard to see right now, so uh, shall we just wait for this to be built up? So we got a design here. I kind of based it on something I found on the wiki. Uh, that's why we got these weird void spaces over here. I put down the floors and then just built around it. We on the outside are going to be having a solar panel. That's not quite going to be enough to provide us all the power that we want, but we are producing more and more glass all the time. 450 kilos. Nice, nice. That might even mean that we can make a second one. Let's come up to here and go, can we please? Yeah, look at that. Of course we can. Uh, we'll build another one of those. Great. Uh, down here, I'm trying to get these ladders taken out so that I can put something in that I've not been using almost at all. Where is it? It's in the plumbing, of course it's in the plumbing. The liquid rocket port loader. This will go ahead and put a whole bunch of liquids inside the rocket for me. So that means we're also going to need to keep ourselves a liquid tank. Where is it? Liquid cargo tank. Beautiful. We'll take one of those. In fact, I'll make it a copper one. It almost, almost makes a transition from the big stuff to the small stuff. I might even, well, I'm going to have to put a gas container down as well. Oh, it's getting tall. It's getting big. But it's just got everything we need to run the interior here. We've got a power outfitting. We've got gas coming in. Uh, not going out quite yet. We'll figure out what to do about that at some point. And, of course, liquids. Ah, I need to put some pipes in. No, no problem. Li liquids can work. <laughs> So liquid loader, and I guess that means we also need a gas loader. That should all just stack together there. Beautiful. I've been meaning to put some more solar panels out for a while as well. Kind of wish they made a smaller nose cone. Just to say that would have fit nicely on there. I suppose I could have put the solo spacefarer nose cone up there, but um, no. No, we've, we've got a larger place to live. 
You know, with Bishop having to run all the way down to the bottom of the level and come back up again to build the solar panels, this has taken the best part of an hour. What, definitely with the extra parts going on and working on the inside as well. Oh, this really, really took a little bit longer than I thought it would. But here we go. We're getting a little bit of power going in. But I really do mean it's just a little bit of power. Uh, 60 watts. It, it could be better, right? As you can see, the battery is charging, despite the fact that there are no uh, wires going amongst the two. But more importantly, I want to come inside and have a look at this battery. Yeah, there we go. It's got some power flowing into it. Beautiful. Well, I don't know about you, but I really want to see these port loaders in action. Let's get them going straight away. Ripley and Cole and also Bishop. Beautiful. It's only two masks, though. This is going to be interesting. Oh, she went round the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. You shouldn't be able to do that. They had to turn that one off. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, of course they were going to need power. I hadn't thought about that at all. We do have some power over here ready to be used, though. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, it's already on the verge of being overloaded. Uh, I suppose most of that is these guys over here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, no, no risk, no reward, right? Oh, 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 she's found another way. She's found another way. Okay, out through the top. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's turn that one off. Oh, oh, they're going a different route. They're going a different route. Oh, they're filling it in from the other side. That's that's fine. There's oxygen in here. We had a little bit of ice form over our gas port launcher loader here, but I have connected up. So, well, I am waiting just here to connect up a few items. Of course, I've gone and pressed a whole bunch of buttons. So if I throw down the water, we'll start loading that up. And of course, we've got the gas as well. I've put it into radiant pipes so that we can cool it down ever so much as it's coming in and through the system. Uh, that way, it will keep the interior of the rocket cool. Maybe minus 24 is a bit much. We'll release some gases out. It will uh, balance out, I am sure. Five degree water. Also quite cold, but it is warming up as we're watching it. Oh, have I misunderstood? I think I might have misunderstood. Ah, it's funny. So I think actually what's happened here is if I press F6, this is where we want it to be coming from. Can we not go from tank to living module? Oh, that's that's not great. So I've cut the lines. Let's stop and think. So there's no external input-output from this. Okay, so there's no way to connect it to this. I guess we'll use the inside as a holding tank then. If we come back out to the uh, external view here, uh, we could probably pump some stuff out of the here. Let's deconstruct this one and deconstruct this and get the, uh, get the re return valves on the go. There we go. Slam down an unloader or two. This should be okay. Oh, you've got to tell it what you want it to unload. Okay, that's interesting. It doesn't just empty the rocket of whatever it's got. So I've just found some solid nuclear waste on the floor. I have no idea how it got here, but I know where I can send it to, for it to be better. I have no idea where it would be kept, though. Uh, it's not an industrial ingredient. Is it a manufactured material? No. Mm. Miscellaneous. Solid nuclear waste. Okay, awesome. It's about 20 grams. Oh, I don't know if we can send that. We might have to end up sending... Yeah, 100 grams is the... Oh, no, we can, we can send kilograms, sorry. Hmm. 19. Let's, let's, let's try and set that up. Okay, it doesn't let me put a point in it. It's only taking full integers. Okay, we'll go with 19. I really have no idea how it got here. The only place we've got nuclear waste is over on Sharubi, and I don't remember sending anything over at any point. Well, this guy's going to send its little payload back over to Sharubi. Yeah, look at that. Okay, well, off you go, buddy. Oh, wait, it is only 19 grams. Mm, hopefully it gets sent with some of this gra uh, glass. We've definitely got enough Radbot. What, what's going on? Why is it not sending? I'm actually confused. Let's try to reload. Oh, well, we're just going to assume that gets sent at some point. Talking of assumptions, let's see if we can let the oxygen out of here. It travels up the pipe. Hopefully it's going to be going into our little storage system we've got inside. Let me just get out of this. View interior. Ah, oh, it's still not being built yet. Told you that was an assumption. Dude. Oh, what? <laughs> I need to turn this off. Uh, grounded. There we go. <laughs> oh. Does that mean just out here? I mean, there's some, there's some actual water. I don't know where that's come from. Hmm. Okay, that looks to be it. Okay, no, no, no real big issue. Anyway, I also moved the water in as well as the gases. We're just waiting for the interiors to get rebuilt. I'm not sure whether I need more. I'm, I'm gonna need more, aren't I? That's a little bit more. 
So you might be wondering who we're going to send on the little journey here, and I've been having a look at all the skills. Looking down at uh, Ash and Jonesy, they both seem to have a very similar skill set, including Ash can take on some grill uh, skills there, and Jonesy well, he wants to be a researcher. Look, we need the astronomy skill. He's got good skills in it. I mean, we could just uh, go straight up like that and he'll be very happy. So Jonesy's probably going to end up being our rocket pilot. Can we actually get rocket pilotry? There we go. What does the second one do? 200% piloting. I don't know if that's handy or not. Of course, this is his skill set here, with his morale here. I do wonder how much he's going to have left when he's uh, inside this, this place. <laughs> You know what, thinking harder about Jonesy's skills, let's give him a scrub. We want to get him down as low as possible on that morale needed, because in here, it's it's not going to be amazing. Let's see where we're at right now. Yeah. Oh, and the gas is filling up as well. This also... Oh, is that all that we had? Oh, that's... That's a little bit disappointing. We'll pump more in, that is no problem. But the main reason that I'm actually sending it in here right now is cooling the place down pretty well. But more importantly, it's going to uh, pressurize this little area up for us. I really wish we had an oxy fern. I need an oxy fern. I've got I've got two on Sharubi, but that that's not enough. How do we how do we get more? I'm not I'm not even sure if we can. I am not even sure if we can. The hat is on! The fridge is stuffed. I think it's time to start this guy up and running. We need to change the crew. Of course, Jonesy, bam, in you go. And we're going to set a destination. I feel like up here is the most bang for our buck. So we'll go... Ah, why have we got a maximum range of zero? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We should probably pump some fuel into it first, right? We, we need to get some steam in there. Okay, so we've got about 200 kilograms. That should be fine for a bit. I'm not sure... Wait, we know we can figure out exactly how much we need. 150 kilograms. Okay, that's... Uh, I mean, that's not even a whole tile. That's, that's fine. We can deal with that. We're gonna need a venting system when it's done or, or do we just cut it early we might cut it early i i could i could estimate how much steam would be in this pipe and then set this down a little bit i mean no more than 10 kilos right i mean each of these is 50, uh, 500 grams it's a lot of blocks actually okay having a rough estimate i'm actually going to go down to about 20 under Let, let's let's go for about 32 yeah that that, that should do it this is so when we uh, turn the pump off and the uh, gas line is still full of steam, rather than just letting it cool down and uh, become a problem, it does make it up there at just about 200 degrees, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, instead of leaving it in there to be a problem, we can just dump it into the, into the engine. I've also slowly but surely been automating the process of getting all the polluted dirt off of Sharubi where we're bu uh, burning petroleum. That makes a whole bunch of polluted dirt here. Uh, as you can see, 8.7 tonnes. Oh, that's a little bit more than I thought. 17 tonnes? Oh, wow. Okay, a little bit more than I thought we had. This one might not even be able to get reached by this guy. Uh, so, we're, we're, I don't know. We're, there, there, is, there is a lot here. We'll have to deal with it. Anyway, we're trying to send it into the interplanetary launcher so we can send it over to Taranu where it gets picked up and and fed to these guys. Uh, we can make ourselves a whole bunch of poke shells like that. Oh, it's got some steam venting out of it. Okay, that's that's, that's kind of cool, that's kind of cool. Well, are we up to full yet? Yeah, we're getting close. We are getting close, 125 kilograms. I mean, I could just turn it up and do turn the switch back manually. Why is there no power? Okay, daytime has happened. Does the solar panels kicking back in bring us more joy? We've only got 24 watts. I mean, I don't... These are powering this uh, rad pulp generator, so we don't have to worry too much about the battery. I think what we're going to do is put a new line of batteries down here, and we'll connect them to the main spline over here, uh, and this should provide enough overnight storage. Oh, no. What have we run out of? Copper ore. We, we can dig loads of copper ore. We've got, got plenty more over here. Oh, that... That guy's not getting saved for a while. It's been a while since we've had to dig up resource. There we go. Got a, got a few bits marked down. Okay, we are full. Let's turn this switch off. Bam. How much gas have we got in the lines? Oh, we've almost completely filled it up. Oh, that might not be great. That might not be great. Okay, let's uh, back out of this. Turn this all the way up and see see if we drain it all. I, I feel like we might not. We might have to throw a valve on there somewhere. 
Okay, let's have a look here. We're at 140. Ah, man, that's 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 not great. That's not great at all. Okay, so how much? Like half? Did we get about half in there? We'll have to figure out how to get rid of it later. But there we go. We are ready to roll. Let's get this guy. I mean, are you in there? Are you actually in there? Hit the crew button. Let's see if he uh, turns up. He should be around somewhere. Jonesy, Jonesy, where are you? Here he is. Uh, I'm gonna watch with follow cam, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to subject you to the, the weird jank that is follow cam at the moment. Look at that weird little frame shift there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He's just about to pick up a gas mask. That was not what we wanted. Let's unequip that right there. <laughs> We've got an ammo suit dock here, just in case we can actually give Jonesy uh, a landing at some point. But we've run out of reed fiber. Uh, I am... Let's just pause the game. I am growing a little bit more down here, but it's so cold that we're having trouble getting this up to temperature. In fact, we're, we're, we're only like one degree out, less than one degree out, and then we'll have access to that. But we are not doing that right now. We are clicking on the right the right module. Uh, we are going to, going to space. We're going to go check out and see what the star map has to offer. Only flying out to here, so it shouldn't take too long. There it is, away and on the map. Okay, it's going to take a while. Ooh, unknown object detected. What, just because we're flying out there? But yeah, it looks like it's going to take a little while to get out there. 2.4 cycles. That's that's very slow. I don't even know how much fuel we're going to get through. Uh, I should have really double-checked. Do we have a... Okay, we've got a, we got a read out here. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know if we're actually going to make it. I'm sure there was a readout to tell us, but uh, <laughs> may have clicked the button a little too soon. Okay, he stopped for the day and got straight onto the telescope. Uh, this, this is fine. I can I can totally deal with this. It's a bit of chlorine on the loose, tiny bit of carbon dioxide on the floor. It's gonna gonna impact the the eating, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, we've got the delivery line going up to the interplanetary launcher there. In the organic, we can go polluted dirt, and hopefully, yeah, there we go. The machines spring into action and start loading up this conveyor loader. Uh, hopefully, produce... Oh, no, we're, 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 we're waiting on this uh, liquid res reservoir to uh, fill back up. How is that going? We are killing germs. I think that might be the problem. Germ, germ killing always seems to be a bit of the hold-up here. But, you know, it is, it is toilet time. I kind of understand. Talking of toilet time, uh, Jonesy's just kind of going out the side of the vehicle here. Uh, away it goes. Look that there, we saw it drop. Uh, why don't we see it on the star map? Why is that not now a little pocket of resource? I mean, uh, mod when? So far, he's holding a pretty steady morale. This looks good. Okay, the bedroom's the only room that held. That's a shame. What, what, what's wrong here for the... Ah, it's too small. There must be some better way of rearranging it. I mean, we've got a dead planet box here for now. Yeah, we, we, we'll figure something. Oh, we've already consumed a fair bit of oxygen. Oh, Jonesy's doing some more research. That's great. Back to the star map. Which one's he doing? This one. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Destroyed satellite, hey? Inspect. I find some noteworthy data hidden amongst the system files. We're not over there yet. We're not there. But let's have a look at the, the journal entry. Bring your office to the stars with Gravitas new corporate space stations. Enjoy a captivating workforce with over 600 square feet of office space in low Earth orbit. Earth. Actual Earth. Okay. Stunning views of low gravity gym and cafeteria serving the finest nutrition bars await your personnel. Daily to and from missions to your satellite office via our luxury space shuttles. Rest assured, our space stations and shuttles utilize only the extreme efficiency, environmentally friendly, gravitas powered uh, proprietary power sources. Whew, too many P's. The workplace revolution starts now. Taking reservations now for our orbital office spaces. 100% money back guaranteed, minus a 10% filing fee. I mean, that just sounds like 90%. With extra steps. Ooh, we got things rotting already. Wait, we got all the food rotting already. No, it just collapsed, collapsed the menu. Ooh, some, something's gone weird. Mm, it should take at least eight cycles for it all to spoil. I wonder if there's anything better I could have sent. Muckroot never goes off. Shame I don't have any left. Excellent also doesn't go off. Mm, I wonder if there's any flower, uh, any plants still around. Grab fruit preserve, 32 cycles. Ooh, yeah, that, that, that sounds like a good one. I've got to be growing some grub fruit again, though. Berry sludge does not go off at all, and I have bristle berries. This this might be the winner. Let's let's head back to your kill, because uh, of course the food is going to go off in eight days. That's that's not that's not a long enough trip for us to go and do what we want to do. So where where are we, where are we cooking? Berry sludge. Okay. Oh, we need some sleep wheat grains. I don't have a cold biome 
grow growery. Let's let's have a look. More importantly, nowhere has any sleep wheat. Hmm. Okay, that, that's a bit awkward. It's interesting that Jonesy alternates between the rocket station and the telescope. I am not complaining, though the flight time... Ooh, we've moved on one tile from when we last saw. I wonder whether he's now going to scope out this area around here. I, I don't know. He's So he's probably stopped again. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's doing another telescope. So back out to the star map. Where are we? We're looking over here. Okay, fair enough. I mean, how quick is that going to be uncovered? Just, just when that fills up, is that is that actually what's going on? I feel like we didn't fill this all the way up at any point. Oh, the progress bar, bar does fill up a little bit quicker than I thought. Where are we? Are we still scanning this empty space area? What? Why? <laughs> So back on Shurubi, now that we've got this line of polluted dirt flowing, of course it has completely backed up already, I'd like to get the interplanetary launcher launching a little bit more often, and so to do that I want to copy a Radbolt generator out. Wait a minute, what's happened here? The, the, the research has changed. Uh, no, no problems, they've given us just one extra uh, slot of research that we need to go and and research, of course. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't actually have any research stations set up because we'd broken it all to make nicer places. That has changed now, but it turns out that over here on your kill, our main rock, there's there's no advanced researcher. Of course, the, the one that we, we kind of have at the moment is Jonesy, miles away. I, I guess we're gonna check out the skill set and see see who's gonna get an upgrade. Ash, maybe? No, you're, you're already pretty loaded. Oh, in fact, you just can't. You just can't. Okay, fair enough. Bishop, you, you're a very busy man. Let's not worry about you. Cool. I mean, she's technically a farm worker, but she's got horrific allergies, so let's put her into a research role instead. Okay, first serious night spent. Let's see what the gas layer is doing down here. It's not great. It's got to be said. It's not great. If we had an oxy fern here, that would be a little bit better. But of course, we wouldn't be able to water it. So I'm not sure how we could get around that. Uh, I have seen people making natural tiles here by surrounding a door on all sides and then breaking the door. I might do that. And then we could get a pip in here to plant an oxy fern. I did have a look on Cherubi and actually all the way down here, we, we've got more. I saw more than just one, but you know, there are more to be had. <laughs> okay, we, we've run out of oxygen and carbon dioxide is becoming a problem. We should probably turn this boat around. Let's 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 do that. Let's change and let's go home. We, we were doing okay, now we're not. Okay, so that's just not a viable method for storage. I can't even begin to think how we're going to get the gas out of it. Like maybe if we... No, 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 because we need to pump down low. Hang in there, Jonesy. I think you can do it, man. I hope you can do it. Starting to get stressed, but I think that's okay. That's not okay, though. I wonder if you can rescue the ships that you abandon. It's it, it's an option. It is an option. I'm not sure if it's one I want to take, though. One we might end up having to take. There's the button. This rocket is equipped with an emergency escape system. The rocket's self-destruct sequence can be triggered to destroy it and propel the fragments of the ship towards the nearest planetoid. Any duplicates on board will be safely delivered in escape pods. I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe. It would be a, be a shame to see all this work disappear, but I, don't, I just don't think we're going to make it back. Should have turned around when I first noticed the gas in the, uh, in the line was getting low. I mean, we're, we're going to hang on until Jonesy is, like, in serious trouble. He, he's, in, he's in a fair bit of trouble. Oh, we, is this re-entry? That would be nice. Yes, yes, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I, I want to come back. Yes, okay, we've got a whole bunch of steam everywhere. Oh, well, honestly not the worst, and, you know, things are cooling down. So how are we supposed to protect these things next to a rocket? It, it, it says we can only connect. Is there a way to have a, like a, an extended connect? Why are all these greyed out? What am I missing? Oh, rocket interior only. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got, we got to let. Just got a suffocation warning, Jonesy. I'm sorry. I, I totally didn't forget that we need to let you out. Uh, look. Oh, there we go. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. But Jonesy, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get out there now. Yeah, off he goes. Brilliant. Okay, so that wasn't the worst we could have done, but you know what? We could probably have done better. Jo Jonesy, don't, don't just hang out in the scalding hot heat. That's, that's really not the way to do it. Come, come, be calm next to the, uh, the water cooler. I, th I feel like that's your, that's your calling at the moment. I feel like that's your calling. 
But I think with that, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. We have figured out a, a system. I'm going to pump out the carbon dioxide from here. Somehow I'll figure out how to get it over that way. I'll put in a mini pump uh, and that should work out better for us. We're going to have to figure out a better way of storing oxygen in here before we can go out and go again. We did indeed discover ourselves a destroyed satellite that we need to go and have a look at. And we have automated the extraction of polluted dirt from here. At some point, we'll get these rad bolt gems generators back and then we'll be able to expand the sending back who who's who's doing what why are, why are people in here why are people even in here but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye